Hi, my name is Karen Boniker and I'm a Elite Painter Master and today I'm going to be showing you the new brush category in Painter Essential 7 called Dynamic Speckle. These brush variants generate a continuous brush stroke from tiny spots of color or what I like to call digital light and we call these speckles. These variants can have hard or soft edges in Painter Essentials, you can change the size of the speckle and their opacity randomly for a more organic look. Some of these new brushes have a jitter feature that's built right into the brush, making for a fun and expressive brushwork essential to concept sketches. We have a great set to start off with, so let's have a look. The first brush we're going to take a look at is called the Particle Grainy Brush. And you can see that I used this brush in on a layer and worked into the background using different paper textures. Now this brush is very, very sensitive to paper texture. So if you choose a paper texture, you can pick it right from the toolbar. And the one that I selected was called the Artist Canvas. And let's go to that brush, Particle Grainy. And I'm going to use black so you can see this real clearly. Um, you can see that it's a you know, really highly expressive brush, uh, more particle type, and I really like playing with this brush in terms of size. So one of the things that I like to do with it, and I'm just going to erase this out real quick, and go back to my brush, is I like playing with the speckle size of this brush and bringing it down to a relatively small size because I like the the different, if I'm using it to build a concept that I have in my mind, something that I want to develop, I like the effect that it gives at a smaller size. And uh, you can definitely work with the size of the brush itself and get even more control with the brush. So there's a lot of really neat things you can do to develop this brush. Would be a great one for, you know, sunsets and water and things like that. So it has a lot of uses, just exploring those uses and being able to get creative. The next brush is called Particle Bristle, and this is probably my favorite brush in this, this whole group. This one is Particle Bristle. Let's go to that one. And when I open a brush, I always like to reset it and the reset option is right on the property bar here. So if you just select that, it will reset your brush to default. Now, this one um, I really like working with for, uh, again, you know, the concept type sketching because it's very, very expressive. It gives me really nice control. And I can also work with the scale of the speckles, meaning that I'm adjusting the size of those speckles and the opacity and of course the size of the actual brush. So there's a lot of play that you can work with here in uh, working through this brush. So one of my favorites, again, for very, very expressive brush work, wonderful brush for painting in concept. The next brush is called Flow Jet, and that's at the very top. And you can see that this brush is, uh, will reset it to default once again and let's get black for our color here so we can see what's happening with it. And you can see that it, it basically works as kind of a, a textural type of brush. Very much will pick up your paper texture and is excellent for filling in backgrounds, lightening certain areas, and just adding a little extra texture to your concept sketches or paintings. The next brush is the Flow spray blender and this one is great because it it actually does blend the colors that are around it so you can you can start with a certain color and go into it I'll, I'll go back to the uh, particle bristle here and work with it on that layer and pick white and you can see that I can actually blend with this brush as well so it's picking up the colors that that we see within within the image. Okay, so it's a fun one for, I've used it for painting trees. So it's a, it's a good one for painting that feeling of distant trees in the background. You can play with all different colors with it and it's a, you know, a fun brush to work with. 
Hard Bristle. Uh, let's go to that brush. There's two here, the Hard Bristle and the Soft Bristle. The important thing to recognize with the Hard Bristle is that when the speckle size is all the way at 100%, as you see here, you're going to get a very dense brush stroke. And then as you bring the speckle size down, you'll notice that the hairs on the brush, the, the, the fibers begin to pull apart and you have more of a brushy type of texture. Okay, so that's uh, the way that this brush works. This is uh, unique to it. The soft bristle, we'll reset that one as well, again is a, a wonderful brush for creating texture. Again, you can work with the speckle size of this brush. And, you know, this is another beautiful, uh, more of a fiber type of brush, like a, a bristle brush would be. So it's good for painting and uh, your landscapes and trees and, and elements such as that. The last brush we're going to look at is the Particle Spongy Brush. And again, this brush is a great one for uh, sketching. Again, you can work with the speckle size and get a more controlled uh, brush mark. Um, the larger you go, the more dense that brush is going to become. The, as you bring it down in percentage size, you'll notice that the brush stroke changes and you get a much softer highly textured brush stroke okay so these are the new dynamic speckle brushes in painter essentials 7 and i know you're going to have fun with them take care